Hey everybody, welcome to Jam's World. If you haven't already, please subscribe um, to my channel so you can get all things great, all things Jam's World, you know. <laughs> but um, no, seriously, please subscribe and like. Uh, today I have a tutorial on how I do my stockings. I did a speed video um, about a week ago, so check that out if you don't want to watch the detailed process, the speed video, I don't know, it's very calming when i watch it i get like hooked it's only like two minutes long but if you want a more detailed i'm going to be doing um showing how i do it on creek cut cricket i'm going to show how i do it on cricket design space and this is a dollar store find okay dollar store find and it's really easy it's really cute for christmas decorations and to personalize your home but um yeah so from the dollar store and this is all I'm using. And then my materials are from, I went to Michael's and I got this from Scissor. Real pretty. And then also this glitter. These are for the holly berry and the red foil for the berries, for the leaves, for the names. <laughs> okay. So other things um, you'll need other than your stocking and your uh, materials, vinyl, iron on, is also some scissors and your weeding tool. A lint roller and you don't need this often but I like to measure out what I'm doing so I really like these measuring flexible ones um, because it is about eight by three so and know how big you're gonna do your um names so i'm gonna go ahead and get on cricut design space so once uh, you pull up cricut design space you will go ahead and click on new project so you can get a blank screen i'm going to start with a square and make the square eight by three so i know exactly how big i'm working with um you'll also want to unlock that lock right there at the top so it doesn't keep the measurements the same and have it as a square. So I have my eight by three. I'm not gonna keep this on there just to, just to see the sizing. And then the font I used is window. So I'm just gonna search it up here in the search box. I wish it came up. Where is it at? Did y'all see that I searched this? There we go, window, hit enter. So hit enter, go to window. Um, the name I'll be doing first is Sophia. And since the letters are all apart, you can either come here to letter space and press that down arrow. But since this is cursive, I'm gonna go ahead and ungroup it because if you keep doing that, it'll overlap. You kinda wanna do it by yourself. Um, and just kind of slide those over to line up. Okay, so I'm going to um, hide the rectangle. I'm going to hide the rectangle and then weld her name down now that I have all the spacing correct. I'm gonna scoot the I and the A over a little bit. There we go. So, highlight everything, drag and pull, weld it down. This is really important with text and cursive because if you don't weld it, what will happen is when you run it through the Cricut Air or Maker Explorer, it will cut out every single letter by itself. So like the O that's overlapping the P, you'll see the cutout into the P. So you definitely want to weld your text. And then I have that right here. I am going to come to images and look up Holly Berry. This is where I got the Holly Berry. It is free 99. So you're not really paying for anything except your iron-ons or if you already have some iron-on it's kind of like you're not really paying for them. you might have paid for them before but right now you're not so i have the holly berry i'm gonna get that kind of big 
get that squared off. Sophia. And boom, there we go. Take that off. I'm going to actually highlight Sophia because I know that I'm doing it in a different color. So I'm doing it in a dark red. Then I have the holly berry. I'm going to come over here and select the leaves and do those green. And then have these a light red because that's the foil. Um, there is a way to have everything cut out all on the same mat, but I'm not going to do this, this tutorial. So we'll come over here to make it and make sure you mirror all the above. And continue. I have uh, my Cree Cut set up on Bluetooth. It is actually turned off right now. So I'm going to have to go over there and turn it on. And then I will start the cutting process. So don't forget your... Um, of course you need a Cree Cut mat. I'm always forgetting my material. Okay. So Cree Cut mat. I know that... I like to come over here and look at the size and so that kind of goes down almost to three so i'm going to cut off two and a half inches always dropping stuff too i'm gonna cut off two and a half inches um i like to use my quick cut slicer what are these things called um i like to use that because it gets the lines even and then I, i'm able to also measure it as well in the same breath all at the same time. Oh, boom. Have the red for the name. I'm gonna go ahead and get that on my map so we can get that cut out. Using a glitter and my fine point blade is a little dull and plus it's glitter, so I'm gonna do more so it will cut everything out smoothly. All right, and then I'm going to come over here and click the arrows and slide this in. Whenever this starts blinking, I'll click on click it. So we're gonna cut out the circles for the holly berry, the berries. <gasps> Always dropping something. Really quick. Now, we're gonna do the leaves. pieces cut out and when I say it was a close call for this Sophia we're almost got too close to the top but we did it so I already cut it out and used my scissors to cut it off from all of that excess paper I'm going to start with the corner and it comes off good Right, pick out the cavities. I heard someone call them cavities. I would have said the inner pieces or something. But oh, there we go. And where's that lint roller we said we needed? Huh. I would normally push these to the lint roller, but it seems I've left it in a different place oh it fell of course boom got him okay 
Sophia's done. And now let's get these berries cut out. Done. And these leaves cut out. So we're done on the creek cut. That was um, actually everything we needed to do. We could come here and click finish. So I tried to put everything in these cubbies. This was the best thing I could find for small space. Um, and it works great for me. And remember to plug it plug your easy press into an outlet and not a power cord. This one says it takes like way too much energy for you to want to do it in a, a drop cord. I don't know if y'all ever been blow drying your hair and the power goes out. It trips the trip. The power trip. The tripper trips. The tripper trips. Okay. Let's get my station cleaned up. I like the world thing about my way. Um, so you'll want the mat. So my um, easy press is still heating up. Remember to not let any plastic, like if you wanted to put this whole piece under here, make sure that no none of the letters are on the plastic or will heat up on the plastic so i like to do both at one time so i'm gonna just cut the excess plastic off of here so i don't have any whoops or daisies <laughs> okay there we go i'm gonna let this um one two three four five real quick while it's heating up some still no these grimmers are not done but we just needed a placement so we can go ahead and do that now it's everything heated up and then you'll have it set for 315 the degrees Fahrenheit and then for 30 seconds on the front side and then 15 seconds on the back side. So once this finishes up and my favorite part is peeling that plastic off when it's done. That is my favorite part. Okay, so we got our 15 seconds. Go ahead and cut that timer off now. So, boom. So we're all done. This is how I made my dollar store family name Christmas stockings. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and join my channel. I'm going to be doing a lot more things with uh, iron-ons and creek cuts. Crickets? Am I the only one saying that wrong? Crickets. So, yeah.